Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Data Guy. Today we have got an exciting session lineup for all the aspiring data engineers out there. In our ongoing series on data engineering interview solutions and questions, today's question resolves around unpiloting data using the powerful stack function in our PySpark. Before we jump into the solution, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you are finding the content helpful and feel free to drop any questions or comments below. I was getting multiple requests to add my sample data frame in video description. So from today, this video onwards, I'll add my sample data frame in my video. Alright, let's get started with today's challenge. So as you can see that I have a sample data frame available, which is containing prices of the products and you can get the product names from their column names. So it is an example of pivoted data in which a rows has been converted into multiple columns. Now in this type of scenarios where we are asked to unpivot the same data, we make use of stack function in our PySpark. So in our expected output, we'll be getting IDs, uh, product name and their respective prices. So let's check that. So basically in our PySpark, we have a function called stack, which is used for unpivoting multiple columns into their key value pairs. It is a very powerful function that help us to reshape the data frame by stacking their specified columns vertically. So let me first write down my output or the approach we are using to get our solution and then I'll explain you what is the use of expression and stack function in our PySpark. Okay, so now as you can see that from here I'll start my transformation. So let it write transformation. Now for storing my output I'll be giving a name which will be my result df. So this result df will show out my final result. Now in my result df, I'll be using my main data frame which is my df and I'll be selecting the required columns from that data frame. So in my select list, my very first column would be my id column. So I'll just write down my id column here. Then on the other columns, we have to use the unpivot condition. So for that, I'll be starting my expression here and inside my expression, I'll be using stack function. So now I'll define my stack function here. So now in my stack function, it generally asks for two parameters. My first parameter would be the number of columns we have to stack and the second parameters will be the name of the column. So now we have to add three columns A, B and C. So I have mentioned here three and after that I will be passing the name of those columns which we have to combine. So now my three columns will be product A, B and C. Now in this scenario what we do is generally we have to pass the key value conditions here. So my key would be the column name or referencing column and the value will be the price of those particular columns. So now as you can see that I have wrote down product A in single quote and then I have given the reference of this value from my product A column. Same will be applies for my product B and C also. And now after that, now this product A, B and C will getting the names of the columns and their respective values which is our price. So those values will be known as my product price. So for that reason, I'll be using the names of these two conditions or names of these two uh, values will be getting here. One will be my names of the product and one, uh, another will be my price of those products. So for that, I'll be writing here product names and product price. So this is how we'll get a data frame which includes three columns. One will be our ID, second one will be our product name which we received from stacking multiple columns and third would be the values which will be our product price. So let's show the result. So I got an, uh, a syntax error here. Uh, let me check what is the mistake we done here. Uh, okay, so I have not passed the comma between the product names and their values. So let me correct it. I'll pass the comma between product A, product B and product C. And let's uh, rerun the cell again to what is the output we have received here. Okay. So now you can see that we received here three columns, which is our ID, product name and product price here. Now 
uh, you can see that in the product names we have product a b and c so these are the values which we already passed in our stack function between this single quotes and their respective price we have received there so this is how i got nine rows here i know that many of you are getting thoughts of using the union condition here or using the inner join condition on the same table but let me clear that uh, here we can see that we have only four columns available with three columns of products and one is id suppose if you are having a scenario where where we have 10 or 15 columns available so then you can think that we have to write 15 times our union query or our inner join query so it, it won't be a optimized code so in that scenarios we are use, will be using this stack function Thank you for watching this video. I hope you understood the stack function and hope you like the video. Please share the video with the data engineering aspirants uh, preparing for interviews. Do subscribe the channel as I am covering interview questions and their solutions and I will be uploading more videos on that. Thank you.